Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve code forces problem New Year candles. I just want to mention that my channel is dedicated to help people who are preparing for uh, any type of Java interviews and coding interviews. You will find lot of good uh, helpful videos on my channel that will help you in your coding interview preparation and in your Java J2 interview preparation. Uh, there are over 200 solved coding problems on my channel uh, which were previously asked different varieties of coding interview questions by big tech companies like Google, Amazon, Facebook, Microsoft, Yahoo and many other big tech companies. So if you are uh, uh, like preparing for any Java J2 interviews or coding interviews then please subscribe to my channel now. This channel can definitely be helpful in your job interview preparation so please subscribe it. So let's look into the problem statement for New Year candles. Uh, Vasily, the programmer, loves romance, so this year he decided to illuminate his room with candles. Vasily has a candles. When Vasily lights up a new candle, it first burns for for an hour and then it goes out. Vasily is smart, so he can make B went out candles into a new candle. As a result, this new candle can be used like any other new candle. So basically, once uh, he, what he takes, uh, like what he does is he takes burnt out candle, right? And then he will create new candle from that burnt out candles, right? So now Vasily wonders for how many hours can his candles light up the room if he acts optimally well. Help him find out this number. So in the input, they have given us A and B. So for example, in this first example, A is 4, which is number of candles are 4, new candles and uh, B is 2 means he can take 2 burnt out candles and make a new candle from it, right? So this is given in the input and we have to find out the number of hours Vasily can light up the room, right? So let's take this first example over here on the whiteboard so we'll understand uh, how we can solve this problem. So uh, 4 and 2 is given to us, right? 4 are the new candles and 2 are the candles that are required, like 2 burnt candles he can take and create a new candle, right? So first let's say these are our 1, 2, 3, 4, these are our uh, new candles, right? So he can burn these candles, right? And he can burn these candles and he will get 4 hours of the light, right? So he can light up his room for 4 hours with these candles. So now what happens is after this candle is burnt, let's say it goes to this half portion, right? Like let's say it becomes like half after the burnt out, right? Means uh, it became like this. So let's just, uh, uh, so what we can do is, so this is a burnt out candle, right? This is burnt out portion. This is burnt out portion for 1, 2, 3, 4. So he can add these two and again make one candle right he can add these two burnt out candles as it is given us here in the input and he can again make one new candle from this one candle so again he got a new candle let's say one right and from these two again he will combine these two burnt out candles again he will get one more candle here from the burnt out candles right so this is second candle so now again he can light up these two candles for two hours so he will get additional two hours right with these two new candles now again what happens is after these candles burnt out he will only get like this burnt out candles right like this so what he can do again he can take these two burnt out candles and he can create one from these two right because two are required uh, like to create a new candle so now he has two burnt out candles so he will again create one candle and he will again burn this candle and again he will get one more hour right now again this candle will, will burn out but now he has only one burnt out candle now we need two to create a new candle so we cannot create any more candles right to light the room so total hours will be seven he can light up the room right four plus two plus one as you can see seven hours so seven is the answer for this problem as you can see it here seven is the answer right so this is the logic, this is the problem. Uh, so let's go into the Java code. Uh, so I can explain you how the Java code will work for this uh, solution. So first the number of candles is given to us which is 4. 
then we are given the count needed to make a new candle right so this is two burnt out candles which are needed to make a new candle this is given in the input uh, now i created one more variable here called as went out candles count right so once the candle is burnt then we will increment this went out candles count and i created another variable called as hours to keep track of how many hours we can light up the room right so now while candles is greater than zero this candles is greater than zero we will loop through while loop so first we will reduce the candle count by one right and then we will increase the hour here because one candle will put like light up the room for one hour and then we will also increase once this candle is burnt out then we will increment the went out candles count here by one because once the candle is burnt out we have to increment this went out candles count by one right now what we will do after this one is we will always keep checking if went out candles count if it becomes to this count two right so if it becomes to the count needed to make a new candle then it means that we got enough candle like we got once we get two burnt out candles we can create one more candle from that right so that's what we will do here and then we will uh, set our went out candles count to zero because now we took the, we are using those uh, burnt candles two burnt candles to create one more candle right so we have to reset it to zero here so this is the logic so it will go into this while loop and it will keep decrementing the candles and it will keep incrementing the went out candles count and hours right and whenever it reaches the threshold like whenever it gets two burnt out candles we will create one more candle right from the burnt out candle so that's what we are doing here so we will increment candles count here and we will reset our went out candles count to zero so once this while loop terminates we will know how many hours we can keep the room lighted right with these candles so we'll just print it out here so let's just execute this code so as you can see we are getting correct answer 7 for the uh, example that we have seen here so let's take this another example 6 and 3 so we should get 8 for that so we'll just ch change this to 6 and the count will be 3 so in this case we have 6 candles and our burnt out candles we need is 3 right so that we can create new candle so as you can see we are getting correct answer 8 here so this is the way so let's uh, look into this second example also i can show you 6 and 3 here so let me just uh, revert this code uh, revert this um, colors so i can reuse this space so now we have seen an example where 4 comma 2 is given right so instead of 4 now now let's just uh, remove this now we have been given 6 comma 3 right 6 comma 3 so let's just add two more candles here so now it becomes six candles right so six candles will burn for six hours right and then they will become burnt out candles let's say they just became burnt out candles right so they just became a small candles after burnt out so after that what we will do is we will we can take the burnt out three candles and we can make one candle from this one two three right so I can make one candle here from these three candles and from these three candles I can make one more candle here right so now again we got two candles so we can again stay we uh, make the room lighted for two more hours now again this will burnt out uh, this will also burnt out but now we have only two burnt out candles we need three burnt out candles right to create a new candle so we cannot create any more new candles so our room will be lighted for 6 plus 2 which is 8 hours right so that is what the 8 hours is here so this is the way we can solve code forces problem uh, new year candles so this is the simple logic i'll put this code into my github account you can take it from there and uh, you know you can go through the code details but i already explained you and i given the names very self explanatory so you can easily understand what's going on in the code uh, if you are new to my channel i have a code forces playlist on my channel which is uh, which has a lot of code forces solved examples explained with java code so you can go through that also there is big playlist on my channel called as lead code uh, lead code and lint code uh, solutions right 
there are lot of lead code and lead code solutions problems solved and explained with java code and examples on that playlist it has over 200 different varieties of problems that includes uh, graph problems binary search tree dfs bfs matrix problems optimization problems as well as uh, coding interview questions related to linked list and strings so you will get a vast varieties that is important from coding interview perspective on those playlists also if you are simply preparing for initial uh, telephonic rounds or initial screenings of java interviews there is another playlist called as java interview on my channel that discusses frequently asked questions uh, telephonic questions and how to answer those questions is also discussed you can go through those playlists if you like this video, if you find it helpful and if you like the way it's created with whiteboarding session and the examples and Java code, please give it a like. Also, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, your subscription to the channel is really important for us because that is the way the videos can reach to more people who need help in solving coding problems. They can uh, look these videos, they can watch these videos and understand how to approach different varieties of coding problems using Java and what APIs and data structures of Java to be used uh, to solve different varieties of problems and how to build up the logic for solving different varieties of problems because the main goal of the channel is to help as many people as possible uh, on their Java J2 interviews, coding interviews and in general the interviews basically and Java right so uh, if you like this video please give it a like if you have any questions you can put your questions below the description and check it out the github account and the code is there already and thanks for watching this video